Hey guys, today I want to talk about an article I read, and the article has been vetted, it's on MTG price. It says that modern decks have gone up in price 25%, and this is after Modern Masters 2015. Does this number surprise me? No. What happens is, and this happened last time too, the staples that do get cheaper, Tamagorf does drop $50. Vindaling Click does drop like $20, $25. All these cards get cheaper, but when on the flip side, all the cards that were not reprinted, Snapcaster, Lily Honor, Voice of Resurgence, just to name a few, a Goblin Guide, Spike and Crazy. So the amount of money you would save from the staples that were reprinted from most of the Tier 1 decks and goes away extremely fast because now your Snapcaster Mages are not $20, $25 anymore, they are $80, $90. Your Lilianas are not $50 anymore, they're $90. And et cetera, et cetera. Or your, <laughs> the most crazy example of this is a common Serum Visions, which is now $12, $14. And you gotta ask yourself, how does this happen? Like, how does this happen that this card at common is this expensive well what happens is modern becomes more popular because it's more popular it's easier to sell into and sell out of it's more liquid a lot of times i talk about this concept and it's very important in mtg finance uh, as a little aside i'm not going to focus too much on it but i only care about how liquid a card is so nissa is extremely liquid Foil Narset Transcendent, which I'll have a video about that trade. I traded two Nissers into a Foil Narset and I knew it was a bad deal for me, but I still made it and I'll explain, I think in maybe a previous video or this video, um, and in the next video, uh, why that I would make a trade like that. But Nissa, extremely liquid. Foil Narset, not liquid. Not even liquid at all. I think Star City Games has 20 of her, the max amount of copies at like $30. Nisa is sold out in some places because supply is low. So when you're talking about the liquidness of your modern assets, when Snapcaster goes up to 80, it's not a flat 80. It's an extremely liquid trade into dual lands, sell it at buy list $80. Uh, same with Cavern of Souls. That card is also crazy. That card is what, $40, $50 now? I mean, I purchased most of them for $8, $9 or $10. Less than that, like I, I have a feeling I purchased them for way less than that, but because they are being played and they were not reprinted, their price goes up. But not only does its price goes up, how liquid it is increases too, because people want to get your Cabin of Souls or your Ink Moth Nexuses before it spikes again. And people are going to, be going to say, hey, why, why would Cavern show spike again? Or could it? Absolutely. Um, Snapcaster made spiked from 20 to 40, from 40 to 60, from 60 to 80. These, it didn't go like slowly like this. The Shocklands are a good example of something that's going like this. Snap went like this. Like, and then off, you know, outside of the screen capture. Uh, so when you look at these cards, you got to ask yourself, when is the best time to buy modern cards and why is modern decks so expensive? I Modern season is going to end soon and that will have a lot of people saying, oh, well, okay, modern season is going to end. Will modern prices go down? And I feel like just like any rotation, yes, it will go down a little bit. But these staples are staples for a reason. And the main reason is, I'll explain in another video, I spent like $990 on Magic Origins. And that was just to make my standard playsets of the stuff I wanted, the Lilianers, the pile drivers, all that type of stuff. The reason that Modern is not going to tank in price is because it's eternal. So Modern is e eternal format where you don't need to keep pumping money into it. So if you have your Infect deck right now, yeah, some of the cards might go down a little bit in price, but you have that deck to play forever and ever. And unless there's, and at most maybe there's one or two new cards in 
Magic Origins or any of the other new sets which you have to buy, but the basis of the deck, uh, the land of the deck, uh, the cards in the deck should not... Um, so the price, outside of price, playability of those cards do not go down very much. But the price can go up and down whatever it wants to do, but the playability of that deck does not go up or down that much. Um, so that's a very good investment. Modern is a good place to buy a deck, uh, to hold a deck. The deck might lose money due to reprints. It might gain money due to reprints. But at the end of the day, buy a deck and just play with it. If you get value from playing with the deck, then that's more value you get from most standard cards, uh, which after rotation are, no, are not playable at all. So that is... I'm not surprised at all that modern decks have increased 25% and have inc their prices have increased 25% or more. Um, that is not a figure that surprised me. I did a lot of my collection also increased with it. Cavern of Souls, Ink Moth, Hunt Master, Olivia Vodarin, a lot of these cards from Innistrad and Avacyn and all, essentially all the newer cards that were not reprinted. When I mean newer, like to me, it seems Innistrad and Avacyn especially seem so new to me that like it's a uh, interesting concept to me that some s somehow these cards are now considered like older cards and they're spiking because they're less common. But hey, this is kind of what you need to understand. You need to understand that this is Magic the Gathering. This will never change in the game. Um, the decks will just get more expensive in modern. And there's very little anyone can do about it. Wizards of the Coast has shown time and time again they were unwilling to reprint in mass quantities. Or even if they were to reprint, like let's say there's a hundred top hundred cards, they reprint the most expensive 20. What happens is out of the next 80, they spike in price more than the 20 that were reprinted. And this will continue on and on. And this is a very good model to make money for Wizards of the Coast because to sell the next Zendikar set, they need something around $50. Hey, Misty Rainforest and Friends are around $50, so why don't we put that in the set? Okay, to sell the new set after Zendikar, we need Shocklands because Shocklands are now $30. Hey, let's put that in the set, etc., etc. Anyway, bye guys.